and welcome to a new video and this time I'm going to show you how to set up an AR project for your smartphone in Unreal Engine 5.3.2. So welcome back. Let's get started. First of all, launch Unreal Engine and you will see the Unreal Project browser and within this browser just choose games or film video or whatever you want to do. They all have this blank template, especially in automotive. There is this handheld AR template already in there in simulation and in games, but we won't use that today. We will start off with a blank project to set everything up from scratch. The next part will be, we're choosing blueprints. The target platform will be mobile. The quality preset will be scalable. Start the content and retracing will not be needed here. I'm giving it a name, AR from scratch, and click on create and wait for Unreal Engine to load everything. A few moments later. So after everything is loaded, we see that we have a big scene for the open world template. We will not use that here because, as you might have guessed already, this will not be feasible for our AR project. So we'll start with file, new level, take the empty level here. Click on create and the content browser will just click on save current level. We're saving that as a main level. Click on save and here it is. So that's our first point of contact. And just to have something in here, we'll just create a basic shape, a cube, and place it on, I don't know just move it to zero 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 and in the next step we're going to edit project settings and under maps and modules we're going to set the startup map to a main level now and the game default map two and we're going to create something new closing the project settings create blueprint class and we're choosing a pawn and we're calling it AR Pong. So this will our entry point will be our entry point for the AR application. Open the new window for our form. Just drag it here and click on Add and type in camera for adding a camera here. And we don't need a specific name for that. We just leave it like this. We have to make sure that the cameras parent is the default scene root. Okay, compile, save, that's our AR pawn. And we're going back to the content drawer. Right click, blueprint class. And this next one will be the game mode base. And this will be our AR game mode. So we're opening it and in the details panel, we're choosing the default pawn class and set it to AR pawn. Compile, save. And the next step is the project settings again. And go to project, maps and modes, and go down here to the default game mode. Oh, here it is default modes. The default game mode will be our AR game mode. Setting the default pawn class to AR pawn. That should already be done. We can search over here for default, default pawn class AR pawn. Perfect. And now we have to set up our AR session config. And this will not be available yet. We can check that by right clicking into the content drawer, miscellaneous, go to data asset, and there is no AR stuff for us to select because we would need the AR session config here. The reason for this is we haven't added the plugins yet. So we go to edit, plugins, choose AR, and we'll see that there will be AR core. First, the AR utilities, 
and then AR core. I'll just type in the C here to make it a little bit faster. Core Google AR core. We don't need the services here. Then it tells us to restart. Okay, we'll do that and wait for it. A few minutes later. After the editor restarted, just closing the plugins panel. Going back, I'm just going back to main, right click, add miscellaneous data asset, choose the AR session config. You can just call it AR session config. Just add the config here, config. And there are lots of default values here for us. They are basically all good. We can add the image tracking here, occlusion, world mapping, etc. That looks good. And now we're going to the AR pawn. Event begin play. And then just start AR session, choosing the session config here. And for the end, event end play. We will just end the AR session or stop AR session. That's basically the whole setup to do here. You can also set the tracking origin and so on, but we'll just leave it out for the sake of this tutorial. And the default Unreal documentation site will tell you that no, that you now have a fully fledged AR project set up. This is not the case, as we just will be starting with the play button. It tells us that there is not an AR session. And if you configure this for Android, there will be default joysticks shown on the screen. Everything will be dark. You can also switch to settings and, for instance, switch the preview platform to OpenGL Mobile. And there is two more things to do. So go back to Edit project settings and search for Balkan and drop the Balkan support here. If this is ticked, AR will not work and the default input for mobile. Oh, I think it was default touch. Mobile. Here it is. Default touch interface and just set this to none by clearing that so there is no default touch input and that's basically the whole setup if we press play it's of course not possible to start an AR session as we are not on a mobile device so you can now attach your Android device here cook your project or quick build it your Android device will be visible here and bring it to your Android phone, which should be in developer mode, allow sources, unknown or allow unknown sources. And for that, you just have to follow the setup, which is mentioned on the Unreal Docs. So I'll just show you how it looks on my side. One eternity later. And after building, I realized two things because we're not going to see anything because the cube is not visible because of the lighting so we'll just create a new material here right click material and let's call it unlit default open it just adding a constant vector 3 here setting this to white go to shading model click on unlit and add the color to the emissive color. Save it. Attach the material to a cube so it will be white and visible and we won't see it because it's too big and we're already in the center in there. So we'll just move it 100 to here, 100 to here. Make it a little bit smaller, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So it should be better visible now. And we ha still have to edit the portrait and landscape mode. Let's go to project settings. 
landscape and the orientation should be portrait sense a portrait or should we leave portrait as well ah let's do sense a portrait the launch landscape okay that's good let's call it portrait looking good too and now let's just attach the smartphone and deploy it again 12 seconds later and if we're now going to start the app we'll see after accepting the camera permissions everything will be ar and over there is our cube that we placed and that's the base project for an ar implementation so based on that you can do everything there will be follow-up tutorials like this and we'll see what we will be implementing there is a lot of stuff coming up please consider becoming a channel member so you would get access to the source code and have a few more advantages so please like and subscribe if you like the video leave a comment if you have any suggestions for an ar app that i should implement or make a tutorial of and i guess that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.